Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Garrow Grixby's War in the East here with turn 19 out of the over 200 turns but uh, let's try not to make it uh, that long. Um, Alright here we go we have once again an uh, Axis Naval Success means that the North African campaign events are moved back and we get Soviet Partisans so nothing. We got 163 1,000 men more on the map, 900 guns, 107 tanks. My opponent loses 47,294, so he's sending stuff over to the other theaters, I think. He can't have lost that much, especially if we're looking at manpower losses. They said at 16,000, so he must have sent two units away. He's so using 30 guns, gets 93 tanks, loses a few points. Nothing special. Let's go quickly over this. Victory points the same. Total men... Basically, we climb up by about 100k because our losses are low. My opponent keeps going down a little bit. That's basically how it keeps going for now. Total guns, total AAVs, total aircraft. Manpower losses remain low. Gun losses are low. AAV losses. Aircraft losses. Air combat loss, of course, near zero at this point. Uh, manpower pool, for me, it's 185 for my opponent. 6 and 3, 4 means his, his units are just... Either not getting reinforcements and or uh, he's already at full capacity almost. Um, Alright, that's that. I don't need to... Well, let's take a look at the weather. So, October 26th now. Let's go to weather air. November 1st, my opponent is going to be ready to strike. There's still going to be some bad weather over some portion of the front if i'm lucky but he can attack near leningrad and he can attack down here um still the weather on the ground will remain somewhat muddy which is to my advantage but it does mean that starting november you know my opponent is gonna start feeling good basically there is heavy rain prediction down there supposedly uh but i'm not getting <laughs> it <laughs> so that sucks either way Let's go through the air. And we can uh, go and start bracing ourselves for an attack. Pretty much. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Went through the these turns pretty quickly. Uh, of course, these turns exceptionally to my advantage. Uh, for a while. Alright, let's start off with all of these. That is 136. It's obviously way too much. All my um, manpower is going to be is being put into these naval infantry units at the moment. So I'm getting nothing to the front because they, they, they pump all these rifle brigades over here. And uh, it means that wherever these guys go, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to send stuff to the map now. So with a little bit of a delay, I'm getting all of these guys. They're at 129. Way too much. So I'm going to send some of these... Uh, oh, frozen. Okay. Send some of these guys over to the Transcaucasus so I can... Take out one, two, three, four, five more rifle divisions. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now I'm at 117. I'm gonna basically build this up to about 105. Uh, I'm sending the rest over to the Transcaucasus. So, um, oh, sorry, Far East. I should send them Far East. Uh, so that I can take units there too. I did this quite inefficiently because I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's fine. Then in terms of air, I guess I have maybe some to send at least one, I guess. All right, that's fine. Transcock says, for the moment, can't take anything out, except maybe fighter. Excellent. That looks great. Far east, already looking perfect. Let's go to the support units next. Commander report screen. Support. And let's get started with machine gunners. Looking fine. Rockets. Sneak off map. You can get off of refit. Nice. It's one of them. Mortars. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Only one needs to be on refit. Construction units. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is good. These are all at 102 now. So actually quite a, a few of these that were on refit are now fine. I guess uh, a lot of stuff also went here still then. Not sure what they were last turn. And still a few of them refit, but not too bad. AA. <clears throat> That's the demarcation line. Then, anti tank. They didn't change at all. Artillery. Take some of the hook. Great. And barely any artillery on the refit now. Um, taking a look at these motorcycle regiments. Okay. And in terms of this, uh, six tank brigades still loaded.
What if I uh, just try to take sixth? Just, just putting in the reserves because some weird stuff going on. Um, I think though that's it for these because these are all lower. Than that, so yeah. Um, okay, excellent. That takes care of it. These are above it. The rest is below it. Let's go to the reserves and take everything out that can be put somewhere. I think that was the only unit. You on refit, putting these on refit doesn't matter. Let's transfer these to the far east. Because that's the only place where they can still be useful like that. Taken care of. Far East. Map. Nearly all of the artillery is now doing okay. That's quite nice. I'm afraid though that even next turn still a lot of uh, my uh, my uh, manpower is going into those uh, <laughs> right uh, naval brigades, but no matter. I think nothing changed here at all. So. In terms of AA, I also don't actually see anything that can be sent. No, but I will send you to the map. You to the map. And you to the map. These guys are not done yet. So there is that. Alright, that takes care of everything except the on-map forces. Now, let's take a look. I'll keep my units on refit wherever I can, and I kind of expect a, a breakthrough here by my opponent soon enough. Um, that's okay. Things looking fine here. Um, my opponent is totally going to attack over here, so... I should 100% try to hold that. Do I have? I mean, I have some of these. Um, both of these are unfortunately at twenty-two. You're unready.
Let's send them there. Now, uh... Yeah, okay. I need infantry in Gorlovka, to be honest. Well, it's not gonna be the 49th Rifle Division. Or um, Makivka, that is, and Gorlovka. Um, let's send you into Rasta for now. Uh, my opponent is much more likely to try and get through here. So let's make sure that Gorlovka is also uh, sufficiently defended like that. With an additional unit. Mm, no. <laughs> Reserve front is now Kalina in front. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Kalina in front. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, nope. Uh, so I, I need to switch those two, to, in a sense. Um, but... Uh, let's not do that while... Uh, you know, the... I could do it in the spring, basically, <laughs> when there's mud again. Um, okay, let's put you in the Kalina in front. And... Oh, hmm. Alright, never mind that. Um, no. Alright, that's that's that. Um, yeah, 6th Army has a unit here, and this unit needs to be under the 5th Army. There we go. My opponent is likely to attack there with infantry. You're on reserve. And that, so these guys are out there. My opponent is now much less likely to try and attack there. Um, Let's just do that. And that. These guys should be fine on their own too. Eh. All right. Fair enough. Currently looking fine. We'll see how my opponent uh, will deal with things. Um, kind of inclined to just retreat you across the river. And... do this because my opponent has infantry there. Uh, 
That is fine. You're on refit. Um, it's too bad. Ultimately, they didn't build up, but. I do want one more unit here. Um, Now, um, uh, Fifty seventh Army arrival. I guess that comes as a, at a good time. Let's see if I can unload him at Moscow. Now, of Kharkov, huh? Well, that's not where you're going. But let's leave you here then. Now, 57th Army is gonna take stuff. Um, I'm putting them on the Western Front. And there we go. Let's start with the tanks. And if my opponent wants to go for a northern hook and I can deny him the southern hook, then his forces will be in trouble there. So even though that does cut off the forces at Leningrad, I still think that Denying him the attack here, but giving it to him here will ultimately lead to my victory um, <clears throat> In that battle, so I am gonna go for that You ain't with the drawing oh, he's, he's gonna get this planet, okay Fair enough Either way, he'll be under the 57th Um, so it does seem a bit weird to allow him to go here well not really allow him to go there but we'll see 57th how much do you have 12 
that's rail again. At the moment. No. I do have these guys coming to reinforce. Um, which is also quite nice so if he I can allow him to occupy these hexes ultimately or whatever and then basically there will be a wall of units on this side afterwards that will deny him access to Moscow. Uh, you are so obviously still in radio. It's pretty hard to get good rolls at Stavka, so the chance that they actually do get the units is, is pretty low there, too. Uh, oh, there we are. But that's besides the point, I guess. Um, this just gets with the drawn. Zhukov is in here. Hmm. I probably need more points. I'm going to save them up. Yeah, probably replacing with Zhukov costs too much. Um, either way, 57th Army. We were busy with that. Um, I will put all of these in reserve. Maybe they'll get lucky or something. Uh, 16, huh? I guess, uh, that will be about it. Um, Send off one over here. You didn't get none. You didn't get none. I think it's safe to assume that all my units in here aren't getting any again. Uh, I guess 
next up? Um, I'll get you in there. I want to have roughly 100,000 men uh, ultimately in there if I can. These are pretty weak. Hey. Okay, you can replace. Uh, let's see. My. Because you know this that it's a pretty easy uh, shift like that and there we go okay that's pretty much all the land movement of all the units and then all I need to do is dish out support units um, Let's start again just going here and 57th army has nothing now so So these are okay. Uh, there we are. One, two, three, four. Seven and send the tank brigade. Those are all divisions. Or two E doesn't change. Uh, okay. These are attached. So I'm sending a Those that are damaged over to the reserves. At least those that are not attached to something. 
It will also immediately, immediately allow me to see how many I've left, which is probably quite a few. It's a bit sad these never got to fill, but uh, it's fine. We'll take care of it. Over time. take out that many sheesh <clears throat> well I guess it was almost 10 every turn and then yeah alright um, I think Probably every army now has seven sappers. So I'm going to give now five to every front. Actually, let's uh, just crank it up her army to 10. Uh, sets her with 57th. 1, 2, 3, then 33rd. Did 2430 get it? 24th uh, needs 7. Wow, okay. Well, there we go. The rest will go into the 24th. don't think I have any left. Those are either unready or attached. That's it, yeah. Let's get you away from the front a bit. And call it a day. So we'll see what my opponent can do during his first um, winter turn. And <clears throat> I, I'm just hoping those will be over soon. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I could uh, actually, because I was gonna switch you up, right, three, five. I know I said I wanted to replace Zhukov or do something with Zhukov there, but to be honest, uh, let's see. Looking for at least, I mean, I could go for 6-4. These are pretty low, though. So, but. Yeah, the writer Max at least has 6 admin. Which is quite decent. Sure. Fair enough. <clears throat> I really do like the 6 admin, I guess, in that regard. 4 initiative sucks, but. Can't uh, <clears throat> have all of it. All right, there we go. I'll ship it back to my opponent, turn 20. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. And bye-bye.